Hi, welcome back to this new tutorial. In this tutorial episode of the First Person Survival Shooter, we'll be creating our health UI. Okay, so this is actually quite simple. So we're going to create a new folder and we're going to name this UI, or IU in my case apparently, UI. And in there, we're going to create our widget for our health. Now, I'm going to supply you with a texture called Untitled Minus One because I can't bother renaming it. So I'm actually going to rename it here. Health icon. Drag that in, and as you'll see, it's just a red square. But if you double click, you'll see it's a red health cross with a transparent background. And now we'll go to User Interface Widget Blueprint and we'll name this Player UI. And in this window, this is where we create the UI for the player, and this box rectangle here is the player's screen. So I'm just going to for a 1080p screen, which is the usual. So in here, I'm going to add a progress bar, and I'm going to add an image. And we're going to set the image size to 50 by 50. Or maybe 100 by 100. And the texture we're going to use is the health icon. I'm going to place that in the top left hand corner. I think that's a bit bigger, 100 by 100. And that's going to show us what our health is. Because the progress bar next to it will be the actual health bar. So before I do that, I want to add a horizontal box to the scene. And in there, I want to add three sets of text. The first bit for the text I'm going to put at 100. The second bit I'm going to use a space slash space. And the last bit I'm going to use 100 again because this is going to be the text version of our health output. So I'm going to rename this as given, so we need get health, sorry, player health, for the first bit, that's our current health, max health, for the last bit, and in the middle, is we'll just put k slash, as that's going to be a constant, and then we want to try and drag this box into the middle of this health bar. So the middle of the health bar will be about there, and I'll scale it accordingly. And now, with the health bar selected and the horizontal box selected using control left click in this window, we're going to drag it up to the top. Scale that so the boundaries are the top and the bottom of the progress bar and it's now in the middle. For my fill colour and opacity, I'm just going to use one red, zero green, zero blue, and one alpha, and that will give us the red for our health. And now we want to rename the progress bar player health bar. I'm just going to put ph bar short and this will call this image, I'll rename health. Okay, so now in the percentage of the progress bar, you'll see this button here called bind, and we'll create a binding, and it loads up this screen in the graph. So like any other blueprint, I will add some code here, and we'll want to return a value between zero and one for how full the percentage bar is. So to do that, we're just going to create a function to get our health in our player library. So in player library, if we open that up, we'll add a new function called get player health. And this is what we call a getter. So our player UI cannot access any of our player's variables but a function that's linked to the player can. So in get player health, we want to return two outputs. 
Okay, so we want to return an output and we want to return our player health as an integer. And we want to return our max health as an integer. Because we can use this function in any scenario, so we're going to want to return them as an integer. And we'll return them both because even if we don't need it, even if we don't need both for one function, we might for another. So, we want to cast to our first person character. Getting our player character as our object. And as first person character, we want to get health. And we want to get our max health. If the cast fails, on the other hand, we want to just return both with a value of 0. Now we've got that sorted, in the player UI we can just do get player health. And I'm going to rename this get pl player health bar percent. Player health, and then we want to divide float by float. So we're going to convert these into floats as we need that float output. So player health, max health in the bottom. These two boxes here are just showing that it's converting them from integer to float. And we'll return that value. Now go back to designer and we need to do something similar for the text. So for the text in the first bit, get player health, text. We want to get player health. But instead of using both values, like I said, we're just going to return the player's current health. And then if we go back to designer and do the same for the last, we can get the max health, get player health, return that max health as a string, so it's converting it to text here. Click save, and now we have our dynamic UI. So, to add that to our player, Want to go to first person game mode, now at this point you might have a window of just a couple of boxes and text, but there might be, there's a line at the top that says open full blueprint editor. Click that and you'll get this event graph. Now we want to do event begin play, so when the game begins, create a widget, and the widget we want to create is our player UI. I want to add to player screen at the beginning of the game. Okay, so here we have an issue where the enemy keeps attacking us without waiting for a delay. Now, the issue here, if we go into our enemy blueprint, is that when we're checking if the enemy attacked, we're not actually using the return value of that boolean, so we're not resetting the attack time back to zero. So we'll just set the attacked boolean output and then we'll place that into our branch and that will fix our problem. And as you can see, the text on the health bar changes and the health progress bar goes down the more we lose health. So in the next video, what we're going to do is create a health pickup that can refill our health when the character picks it up and then we'll be able to spawn that anywhere in our world. So hope you enjoyed the video, leave a like if you did, a dislike if you didn't. If your opinions are otherwise, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions or advice, just leave it in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. An easy way is to hit me up on Twitter, which is at Sam underscore BA underscore Jones 97. And as always, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks guys. Bye.